Hey everybody, welcome to CR Entity Designers. This is Chetan. And in this Blender tutorial, we are going to learn how we can create a simple and decent looking design. So without further ado, let's get started. To create this design, I'm going to use this cube. Just you need to give the right proportions to this cube. So that's why you need to adjust its scale. After that, the next thing, you need to apply the scale on the model. Then you can turn on the X-ray mode and just you need to select this corner edges. And then Ctrl B and then add a bevel on these edges. I want to create the fillet form at there. So that's why I'm going to add the 4 segment bevel. And give the right bevel width. Then you can scale it down along the z-axis and then you can apply the scale. And now just select this face and then delete it. Select this top and bottom edge loops and then Ctrl B and then add a bevel on these edge loops. Now just you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the cuts like this. And here use the knife tool and then create the cuts and then create the right chord with topology. Then you can select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x-axis. You can add the loop cut like this and then scale it along the y-axis. And you will get this kind of form at there. Then just you need to select this edge loop and then press F to fill the gap. And then use the insert operation at there. Select the words, right click connect vertex path and create the path in between the words. And now you can take the symmetry. Now you need to add one more cube, but this time we will go with the rounded cube. So shift A add the rounded cube and operator preset should be called sphere. And now just you need to decrease this arc count up to 2. After that you need to adjust the scale add there and give the right position to it on the top surface. As like this. Then you can adjust its scale. Turn on the extra more, select this bottom faces and then delete them. We are going to use it to create the boolean details at there. Basically this part is the design part. Then you can select the center edge loop and then control B and then add a bevel on it. Select these faces or words and then move them along the y axis. I'm just creating that basic block out to create the detail. Then you need to add the array modifier on it and give the factor somewhere around 2.5 along the x-axis and then give the array count 5 and just give the right position to it. Then go to the edit mode, select this bottom edge loop and then press F to fill the gap. Then just need to select both the objects and you need to use the boolean operation which is union. And then you need to apply this boolean modifier and then delete that cutter object. And you will get this kind of details at there on the base mesh. Now just need to create the right topology at there. You can add the loop cuts like this. You can use the edge slide at there. Now you need to use the very important tool which is the knife tool to create the supportive cuts. And create that supportive topological structure for the model. Then you can select everything and then mesh symmetrize. Now the next thing is very simple, you need to create the loop structure around this boolean details. So use the knife tool and create that loop structure, which will support the form of the boolean details. Then just add the loop cuts like this to maintain the good form on the model. Now you can add the loop cut like this and then scale it along the y axis and give the value 0 at there and make it straight along the y axis. Now we need to create the right topology for the model so that's why you need to add the center loop cuts like this. Then select that center edge loop and then control B and then add a bevel on it. Add one segment bevel at there or at the initial stage you can add the two loop cuts like this. Now to create that loop structure, you need to select the words like this and then connect them. And you need to select these edges and Ctrl X to dissolve them. Now just repeat the same thing with all these boolean details to create that loop structure. Now just select everything and then mesh symmetrize take the symmetry. You will get this kind of loop structure at there on the model which looks really well. Now use the knife tool and then create a cuts like this along the y-axis. 
and same thing at this side also. Use the knife tool and then create these cuts. Then you can use the knife tool and you can cut the cuts like this. And then you can dissolve these each loops. Just we want to reduce the topology on the model so that's why we can play with the topology in this way. And we can reduce the loop structures at there means those extra edge loops. So you can see how I created this loop structure at there on the model which is very simple and easy. Easily you can create this. Now just here I need to merge the words because that loop goes across the model so that's why. And you can dissolve the remaining edges which you don't want on the model. You can see that looks really well. Now just select these bottom words and then connect them. And create the good topology at the bottom side also. You can use the knife tool and you can create the complete cut like this. Then you can add a few more loop cuts like this on the model to maintain the good form. Then you can use the x-ray mode and you can select the faces like this with the cross selection. And you need to use the insert operation at there. Because I want to create the loop structure and I want to create the harder edges at there. So that's why I need to use the insert operation as like this. And then you need to use the knife tool and you need to complete this cut as like this. Along the x-axis and along the y-axis. Then you can dissolve that diagonal cut at there. And then you can add more support to loop cuts like this to maintain that design. Then here I just want to create a little bit of detail. Just need to select that face loop and then use the insert operation and extrude operation to create that detail. Then you can add the sub-D modifier on the model and then shade smooth it. And now you can see the model looks decent, just increase that sub-D count. And you can see its topology which looks really well. And now I will use the existing topology of the model to add more details on it. Now I will use the existing topology of the model to add more details on it. You can easily create these details. So just you need to watch the process carefully. You can see the topology of the model. We have tried to create the good loop structure on the model. And easily we can create this kind of model. 
and that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this video then hit that like button and subscribe to youtube channel bye bye so next video take care